Hello again guys, welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Free Kingdoms Sea Shit Legendary campaign. And when we left off, we won a glorious battle over Duosi, which totally reversed our fortunes. Um, and now we've basically got to just finish off Duosi. He managed to sneak past with his other army and take Hepu, which we're just going to wreck him. We are currently got a peace treaty with Menghuo, but annoyingly, our Divering has allowed Sunsei to rapidly, rapidly expand everywhere. So that is going to be a problem. We are trading with Sunsei. Um, so that is something. Uh, who have we got and can anyone spy for us? Chingong Ying still unhappy. He's our only spy, like guy who can spy. So we'll try and make him happier, and then we'll send him off to spy again later on. Uh, yeah, let's end the turn. Okay, so Sensei wants us to become a vassal. But I'm just gonna I'm just curious to see if they would be willing to give us Yulin Spice Market. They are not. Then we are not interested. What was that? He's thinking. <laughs> Jealousy within the inner circle. Ooh. One of your trusted family members approaches you with a concern. They feel as if you favour your other blood bonds while forsaking this one. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's, uh, what's the downside to this? So they don't like each other. They're not really at court, though. Oh, but then she hates us. Oh, let's just appease them. Okay, Mulu's trespassing again. Okay, that's ours again. He was friends with Menquo. That's weird. Right, let's see if we can. Gonna have to keep chasing this guy. Uh, we've got a few options here. Let's just get 
Um, yeah, let's just get Chen Gong going, go do more. So I had one mission which was to dire civil unrest. That's pretty good. Gan Ning. So we need to get that really. So let's recruit this guy, the middle child. I have. Oh, there we go. And then let's also recruit some, a load of archer militia. And now let's recall him. So now he's got a stronger garrison here. Next turn. All right, let's send a turn. Okay, Mulu's going off to fight Menghuo again. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh my god, we've got so many kids. It's the world, it's the Three Kingdoms equivalent of Walder Frey. Let's give him the Sage's armor. Actually, no, no, ignore that, because he's better with that, to be honest. What? Have we got him? I hope we've got him. Yes, we have got him. Ugh, it's a Pyrrhic victory, but I cannot be bothered to fight it. Execute. Execute. We'll take the replenishment. Can't quite get him this turn, that's fine. I don't think we're going to get 4,000 gold anytime soon to colonize that place, so let's move back to our capital. We need to defend it. And we've got reform. Nice. So, we are getting a lot of industry now, but I think the best thing really is to... Top, minus 10% character salary might help us because we've got a lot of family members. So let's do that for now. Yeah, that's helped us quite a lot.
We could do some more recruiting. It's probably better to do the recruiting here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to change him to be general of the left. Get some arches as well. Relatives can marry. Like, Tianyan All right, let's end the turn. If we acknowledge his legitimacy, he will give us 143 gold for 10 turns. Doesn't piss anyone off, so let's go with that. Okay, so we're doing all right now, money-wise. So we have military access with Sun Sea, so we can go in and finish off Dwusi, hopefully. Stone axe. <laughs> yeah. Woman to buy torch is a lay trail. I go and watch you. Gentle to lie. More your cheese off. Don't say sing. So she's ranked up. Let's invoke the council again. Construct a school building chain and raise a force. Ugh.
Um, all right, we've got a bit of money again. The tea house does sound quite good. Could also upgrade this. What is our corruption like? Eh, it's not bad. Could build a, a drifting workforce camp. Drifter workforce camp. Or we could go from 170 income to uh, 210 plus the 60% from commerce. Eh. Or we could build something else here entirely. Let's upgrade the salt ponds. Gives us more prestige as well. So where is Duosi then now, if he's not dead? Oh, he's dead. Doesn't tell me how many regions he has. Peace with him though would be pretty good. Especially if we can just request a ton of money off the guy. Awesome. Let's build up the pier. Let's upgrade the pier. Gives us a bit of more food as well. And then let's recruit some more mounted lancer militia. Do we actually have any family members who are soon to come of age? I don't think we are, are we? Xi Jin has a son age six. But yeah, none of the others look like they're even close. So let's end the turn. Sun Si will start throwing his weight around sooner or later. Meng Huo and Lady Zhirong's coalition has broken apart.
正在行进。我已归来，百姓是否安好 ？Let's move him back down here as well. 百姓胜利。And our administrator Yu Lin has ranked up. So. Uh, let's. Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll come back to that. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, understanding. One hundred thirty-five peasantry. One hundred thirty-five peasantry. One hundred thirty-five. So they're all one hundred thirty-five peasantry. But this guy gives more food. So, what's giving us the most food? Hepu, which doesn't have an administrator. What's next? Zhao Zi. Give him this as well. Just check they've all got the correct weapon. He has not. Let's give him a gem. Wanting to be let in. Right, so. Got a bit more money. Um, we're actually building something pretty much everywhere we can afford it, which is nice. Okay, right, so we've maxed out all of our units now. Are we at war with Mulu yet? No, we're not. So we're actually in a good position to stab him in the back whilst he's dealing with Menghuo. Let's end the turn. Li Wo Ke Wei, Jiang Chi Bu Xiao. Zhen Shi Tan Xin Bu Zu. There's a lot of wars going on up north that we're staying the hell out of. So we'll wait until Ji Ling is closer.
So I'll wait until we've maxed out our spent our splendor and then I'll start actually using it on tribute chests. Uh, I don't think we can use our money anywhere else. So let's send a turn. Changes. Ambush avoidance, that's pretty cool. Let's give her that, that sounds pretty cool. about there. Yeah, I think now's the time to declare war on Mulu. And he's going to be in a really bad mood because of that. Where is Mulu? Have I missed him? There he is. Oh, there's like no garrison there as well. Brutal. Let's keep her working there. Oh, we can build something at Yulin. Uh, let's build the horse exchange. Let's send it in. Since he wants to form a coalition, eh? Let's negotiate this a bit. But he wants all my stuff for it. Yeah, I'll join the coalition. No, actually. Well. What I want is Guang Yu, please. Shi Kuang is the one who's a bit more unhappy, so let's use the side with him. Lian 
洁奉公，忍受苦难，怒吼吧！万民之声，不可小觑。吾等大义，已将将领此城。So Shi Huang is ranked up. Uh, so he's not going to be the commander anytime soon. Maybe he will be later. I suppose. And then we've got someone else who's also ranked up, an administrator, so that's good for us. Ugh, Nanman buildings. So this is a lumber yard, so we probably want to keep the managed ground, but... So let's convert this into a horse exchange. And I think that's where we'll call it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part.